Okay. This is Honest Trailers. <laughs> Batman. Sorry. Sorry. Woo! Right. No. I don't know what all that was, but no. this this is Honest Trailers. Batman v Superman. <laughs> Dawn of Justice. Do it. Okay. Okay. Dang it. It's by the screen junkies. <laughs> Good times. Oh God. Wow. That hurts From my... Zack Snyder. And his accurately named production company oh. becomes the blockbuster yep. that united the world's two biggest superheroes and divided everyone else. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Dawn of Justice. Get ready for the battle of the century between critics and fans yeah. that had the movie's most rabid supporters sending out death threats, while its harshest critics refused to admit that anything about it was cool. Even though you'd be lying if you thought this wasn't awesome. That was awesome. That's pretty good. Batman, and this yeah, wasn't combat. Ba Batman. Save Martha. Why did you say that, Dad? Warner Brothers needed a surefire mega hit to keep pace with the MCU. Now they're pairing a screenwriter who once said, "Batman vs Superman is where you go when you admit to yourself you've exhausted all possibilities." Ouch. And a director who once said, "Batman could get raped in prison." That could happen in my movie? What? Really strange choices in retrospect. Yeah. You were yep. promised the dawn of the Justice League, and they delivered an email attachment as the DC Extended Universe kicks off with a folder of low res QuickTime videos. Who designed the logos? Leaving audiences with a cool new Batman movie, trapped inside a boring convoluted Superman sequel, trapped inside whatever cartoon Lex Luthor is from. Oh. Mm. 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 Ah, ahoy, ahoy. And I am. <laughs> no. I, um. No, what am I? I. What was I saying? The Man of Steel, you oh, know and fear, saying? has returned. Oh, what are you saying? And even he's not sold on the whole Superman gig. Superman was never real. Witness the hero who once stood for truth, justice, and the American way stand for brooding, moping, and wondering why he even bothers as the film's main character has nothing to do but silently look constipated, get horrible pep talks from his parents, be anything they need you to be, or be none of it, suck at his job, who's that? and refused to fight back against his toughest opponent yet, Cable News. Superman was involved in the planning of this attack. He is not a hero. Must there be Oh, Superman. wow. Stop scowling and book an interview. Smile. Go to Carpool Karaoke and sing that Five for Fighting song. I'm more than a bear. I'm more than a <laughs> My god, he's still a beefcake. Those abs are so good, uh -huh. you won't even notice how fake those eggs are. <laughs> Those are real fake. Once and for all, that the hero he really wanted to make movies about is this guy. Or at least his weird murdery fanfic version. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Dead. Ben Affleck shines as Batman, who's one part CrossFit bro, one part Superman, one part Tony Stark, one part Arkham video game, and one part actual bat? while the world's okay. greatest detective finally gets to do some actual detective work as the actor we all assumed would be the worst part of this movie is by far the best part of this I movie. I will, I will accept Tell that me. statement. Do you bleed? Also, everything Wonder Woman did was really cool. Sorry if that seems kind of tacked on and out of place, but you know. So <laughs> she was, she yeah. was kind of, she was kind of tacked on and out of, of place in that movie. With you. you sent her an email like half an hour ago, remember? Watch the Dark Knight grow to hate Superman for clear, obvious reasons, while Superman grows to hate Batman back because Lex Luthor hired someone to kill a criminal Batman branded before he put him in prison, so that when Clark Kent refused to cover the local football team and investigated the Gotham Vigilante instead, he would conclude that, <sighs> look, I don't have time to explain the whole thing. Can we just roll Lex's plan real quick? Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, right. All right, the CIA. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, well, I don't even remember that part. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, stick nine A. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I forgot about that part. Pee in a jar. Man, this is complicated. You don't have to throw everything but the kitchen sink into your evil plan. And there's the sink. You've been waiting since you were a kid to see these two icons go toe to toe. Well, keep waiting for two f***ing hours through yeah. boring congressional hearings. Let me say at the outset that I'm grateful to our witness. So much journalism. 
Why aren't we covering this? And a semester's worth of intro to philosophy lectures. God is all-powerful. It cannot be all To finally get the awesome fight you were promised in the title. That ends after just eight minutes because their moms have the same name. Martha! 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 I know Batman's hung up on his dead parents, but come on! He has the power to wipe out the entire human race, and if we believe there's even a 1% chance that he is our enemy, we have to take it as an absolute certainty. Having a mom changes none of that motivation, no matter what her name is. You can write all the essays you want convincing yourself this was brilliant. Then again, dumb is a one-syllable word that covers it pretty well. So suit yeah. up for a film that was so highly anticipated, yep. it could never have lived up to the hype that had to deliver the fight fans have wanted to see on the big screen for decades. Address the controversy around Man of Steel, make enough money to compete with Marvel, be a sequel to Man of Steel, and a Batman solo movie, pander to Jar of P enthusiasts, form the Justice League, introduce Wonder Woman, The Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg, Lex Luthor, Parademons, Doomsday, Steppenwolf, the death of Superman? Whose idea was it to cram all this into one movie? They just burned through like six movies worth of good material. Yeah. Yeah. But at least Suicide Squad looks pretty cool though, right? Starring Batfleck Forever, Last Son of Krapton, oh. Lady in the Water, Jeremy's Iron, Hector Salamanca, Teenage Mutant Abomination Lord of the Rings Cave Troll, <laughs> Lattis, Worst Product Placement, Ever. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is even happening here? I had to ask like 10 hardcore DZ fans, and even some of them didn't know. Xena, warrior cameo. Ooh. A Democratic senator from Kentucky? <laughs> sure, why not? Huh. Tonight, a comedian died in Gotham. <laughs> Martha Wayne and Martha Kent. Oh, now I get it. Nope, still dumb. Fans v. Batman v. Superman. V. Critics v. Other Fans. V. v executives v. v. Zack Snyder. V. v. Expectations. expectations. Can't do them all justice. Wow. How come Dad never left Kansas? You let him die in a tornado, remember? That's why. <laughs> Ooh. 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 No! That's... Oh. oh, that's ice cold. Ooh. Oh, no, don't do that. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. They did cram way too much. Uh, too many cooks, too many Yeah, cooks. that's, seriously, that's like six films worth of good material. Yeah. Right there. It just ruined. So are we going to listen to him say awesome things in his voice? Wish oh, this yeah, honest trailer was yep. even longer? Well, then click the box on the left to watch sorry. the Batman oh, and Superman. Fine. I just trailer, knew that the comment section edition, would get right up about even it. Longer than the fight between Batman and Superman. It's uncut and uncensored, filled with even more jokes and rants we tacked on to get you to watch it twice, just like BBS did. Oh. And don't forget, oh. starting this Thursday, we will be broadcasting live from San Diego Comic Con for Patrick Screen Batman. Junkie Central, Patrick featuring Batman. celebrity editions of all your favorite SJ shows that you truly Kyle do not want to miss. Illegal immigrants. So click the box on the right to register and watch for free. In Mother Russia, Pokemon catches you. Huh? Pokemon Go is Skynet. Uh. You rusty potato, I will stab you with a moldy spoon. Uh. I am Sparatkus. Ah! Prepare to suckle from the teat <laughs> of the feet. That's awful. Oh, man. Prepare to suckle from the teat of the feet. So, this movie, I actually... When I when the movie started, I was actually really excited at the beginning because of the visual where his parents get killed and they don't you don't really see anything. But when Martha gets shot, her pearl necklace is caught on the slide of the handgun. So when the slide racks back, like the necklace breaks, and yeah. you see, and I was like, it was visually stunning because yeah. you didn't see anything, but you understood. I mean. And I thought that was very dramatic and very well done, and it made yeah. me really excited. I thought maybe they pulled this off, and then they didn't. Yeah. Well, Zack Snyder. Okay, I will say this about him: he can set up a good shot. He can set up a good shot. Cause fair. Okay. Sucker Punch was a mess. I never but, saw it. A very hot mess, but the visuals in that film. Are stunning. Oh, yeah, the visuals are crazy. But that's, visuals are crazy. But that's about the only good thing in that movie. Yes, the storyline is cr the storyline is super convoluted. Yeah, and the characters are one note really, cliches, and it's really weird. Yeah, it's it, just it's, it's weird like tried, and not it's like, good. It's like he tried to combine 
it's like you tried to combine anime and like several other different genres and everything, and it all just turned into a hot mess. That honestly, after watching about forty five minutes of it, I paused the movie and I was asking myself, "Why am I doing this? Is this is this supposed to be my life? What is this? What is my life?" Pretty much, I had yeah. I, I had a I had a moment of clarity. Oh as, yeah, as some people. Those are those are great, as some people call it. It's like I am sitting here, watching on this couch, whatever this is, wasting my ever loving time, watching this film about pretty girls. Which don't get me wrong, I'm a guy, I'm a I'm a hetero guy, and I I, I like pretty women, but I'm watching this film that is supposed to entertain me, but yet I am receiving zero entertainment out of this. Yeah, that movie is. I mean, the visuals are stunning. Kind of problematic in places, and you're just like, Ugh, yeah. And no. for me, That's where I bad. where I started to realize, okay, the brakes are starting to come off. For okay, is is okay. This isn't really a spoiler. For me, it was during you know, kind of like the beginning dream sequence after you know after Bruce falls into the cave where the bats are and everything, and they're circling him. Mm-hmm. You know, we had that, that. Oh, we're not talking about Sucker Punch anymore. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. For me, for me, oh, this film. This I was film. like Batman v Superman. Batman v Superman. Okay. When the when the dream sequence when the dream sequence is going on, and Bruce is you know being circled by the bats. I was like, okay, so we had this moment in uh, in you know Batman Begins. So they, yeah. this is kind of a this is kind of a shoehorn in. Uh, but then Bruce starts levitating. I'm like, uh, I'm like, okay, this is uh, this is is this what is the symbolism here? And it it didn't lead to anything, and I was like, I was just really glad. I was like, you have to make sure that this is obviously a dream sequence, or I will walk out. Yeah, and then and then yeah, it well, it turns out it was. Yeah, but apparently Batman is full of precognitive dreams. Yeah, because mm. and also Flash that's point, in his wheelhouse. Also, the Flashpoint thing in this, I was just like, that's. Why are you putting that in? He- and I, I really do think that was the most accurate criticism of this movie is that basically they all of this stuff. I mean, they did really try and take material for like six movies and make one and put movie. it on there. They're just rushing it. Yeah. Like, I mean, they would be fine if they would just take their time. And I mean, you don't have yeah, to. Like, that's that's the thing. If they could have, you know, stretched this out, made I mean, hell, even made. Two movies out heck, of it. Heck, you could say, heck, if you know Batman v Superman Part One or Batman Batman v Superman Part Two or even Batman v Superman Anthology or or something. I mean, when you try to do too many things at once, none of them turn out well. Yeah, because you're you lack focus, and when you lack focus, your storytelling turns to shit. Not to mention, they not only shot themselves in the foot in the present, they shot themselves in the foot in the future because now. All those six movies that they could have done really well with, they can't make any of them. Yep. Yeah. So, Without rebooting again. Which would be... And if they have to reboot again, they're done. Yep. Well, they've reboot they've rebooted Spider-Man three times. Or they've, they've rebooted Spider-Man twice within and, the last ten years. And tell me how many people still care about the Spider-Man movies. Exactly. Well... Spider-Man Homecoming looks promising to some degree because of what we got from Spider-Man in Civil War. Yeah, which actually, that's... which actually, I think that's a good way to get people interested back in. See property. that? That's what I was gonna say. If they had just flat out tried to reboot and do Spider-Man Homecoming, no one would have cared. The fact that we got some Spider-Man in Civil War, it's like, all right, I like where this, I like where this could go. This could be good. And it showed off Tom Holland as Spider Man. Yeah, and he he killed did, it. He did damn good as Spider Man. He knocked it out of the park. I yeah, think. I mean he, I mean he, he got the accent down. He got the wise cracking down. I wonder and if he's Marissa. A kid. I wonder if Marissa Tomei is signed on for Homecoming. She is good. Marissa Tomei is because uh, that would have been a weird shift. Uh, I think Zendaya. I, actually, they just uh, announced who Mary Jane is, mm-hmm. who's portraying Mary Jane. Uh, Zendaya, which I find interesting, uh, because uh, Zendaya, I've seen her, I've seen her act, and she's she's pretty good, and I could see her, I could see her as, I I could see her as Mary Jane. I mean, there's possibilities yeah. all over the place, guys. Yeah. I mean, but 
anyway, we've yeah we're running off at the mouth again. We how again. how much have we run off at the mouth? Uh, we're at fifteen minutes and thirty no, seconds. It's not, not as bad. not as bad not as, as, it bad could as be. Hellboy. Oh lord. Well, to be fair, in both cases, we've really doubled the length of the video. Yeah, we have. We just had to work a lot harder at it in Hellboy. <laughs> And we and we this try and we try to cut ourselves ourselves off at the hilt because and sometimes we fail. Oh, we fail more more often than not. We have kind of done a lot of the complaining about Batman v Superman, anyhow. Yeah, we. It's have. true. There's not a whole lot more to say. No, there isn't. Uh, honestly, we. This is why I say we need to do a podcast because we just need. Hell yeah, we need to do a we, podcast. We just need. Uh, like like a dedicated podcast, you know, if you know, once a week or once every two weeks. You know, we just get together, hour and a half, two hours. We just sit, sit around, down, shoot the shit, shoot the shit, just have a blast. Yeah, and it could be it could be the format like we're doing right now because we because we live stream for six hours on freaking Fallout. Yeah, why can't we why can't we live stream an hour and a half, two hours of just us talking and shooting the shit? It's true because that's what we do during Fallout. I mean, yeah, I mean basically, of the time when we're not paying attention to the game, we're either reading comments. I mean, or... like you're you're asking questions from the chat left and right. I'm playing the game, but I'm still answering the questions. Yeah, you know, and people are like, "Oh, hey, tell me about this bit of the lore," and I'm like, "Oh, well, I'm glad you asked," and I just run off at the mouth about it. Yeah, or somebody's like, "Oh, this this got me, Professor Ben." Somebody like I put on uh, a piece of armor, and I'm like, "Man, this is really cool. I wish I could armor this." And then somebody's like, can we stop looking at the character and get back to the gameplay? And I'm like, you clearly have not seen this stream before. Yeah. Because, and then I started going on about my uh, my issues with the uh, safety, like the chemical safety showers and eye wash stations. Yeah. He... There's no lever to turn on the eye wash stations. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Which is a problem because hmm. you kind of need that. I got to thinking about it, and there there could be a button right there. Yeah. But you would have to feel around for that button, and that's a problem. That is. Because you can't see. That's why you need the eye wash. Anyway, maybe maybe I, it's like electrostatic contact, so as soon as you put your bare hands on it, it just... But then why is there a lever for the shower? I don't know. <laughs> Check and mate, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And on I that bombshell... Know. We're getting out of here. Get out Thank of here. Thank you very much for watching. Go away. Through whatever the hell that was. Tell us, your, tell your, tell us your opinions of a podcast. Yes. Yes. yes please do, do that thing. Yes. Please do. Yes. Bye. Uh, Bye, guys. See you.